Okay, guys, let's make a start. We'll do a 4 3 3 first. We can all stand up for the first one. They rush on the city. Okay, after three. One, two, three, they rush on the city, they run on the walls. Great is the army that carries out his word. They rush on the city, they run on the wall. Great is the army that carries out his word. And the Lord utters his voice before the army. And the Lord utters his voice. Blow the trumpet in Zion, Zion, sound the alarm in the holy mountain. Blow the trumpet in Zion, Zion, sound the alarm and again. They rush on the city, they run on the walls. Great is the army that carries out his word. They rush on the city, run on the walls. Great is the army that carries out his word. And the Lord. Good start. Uh, we'll open in prayer. Has anyone got anything they want to pray about in particular? Any prayer requests, Sandra? Okay, Jean, Andrea, John, okay, JB. Okay, perfect. Dad, do you mind putting these people to the Lord for us? And we'll open in prayer. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And all the people said, Amen. okay, you can take your seats. We'll go to 182. Here, yeah, showing the O man. After four, one, two, three, four. He has shown the old man what is good. And what does the Lord require of thee? But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Again. Shown the young man what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee? But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. One more time. Falling in love with him. Okay. After.
after four. One, two, three, four. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. You keep falling in love with him over and over. And then after this one, we'll get Glenn up for his testimony. I was singing for the Lord. <clears throat> okay, then after four, one, two, three, four. I will sing unto the Lord, for he is crying gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he is crying gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song is now become a victory. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song is now become a victory. The Lord is God, and I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. The Lord is God, and I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song has now become a victory. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song has now become a victory. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. The Lord is God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Thanks, Glenn. Hallelujah. I've got a lot to be thankful for. Um, it all really started um, when someone um, told me about God in the first place. Just said that there is a God and that uh, he is real and I was I was searching actually I was searching for, for um, uh, to know whether there was a a creator as it were I was I was searching to find God and um, and I looked at creation and I just looked at all the things that there was like the trees and stuff like that and I just thought well you know it didn't just happen by chance kind of thing it sort of uh, something must have happened uh, for all of those things to you know like it, it wasn't like a big bang and and uh and something you know like my playstation just appeared from nowhere kind of thing it wasn't like that so i realized a few things as i was going along and uh, the lord was guiding me um even though i didn't have the holy spirit at this point but the lord was uh, guiding me and um through situations and uh and then uh uh, at one point I had a revelation that everything that I was doing in my old life was wrong and I was trying to fit a square peg into a round hole and nothing else fixed except Jesus and uh, I tried everything in life and uh, and it never really truly satisfied I never really got the true satisfaction out of um, uh, the things in life um, and uh, yeah tried everything really um, entertainment um, uh, you know didn't go very far really uh, you know I enjoy music and I, I enjoy the things that I enjoy but you know I'm really uh, give give God um, the thanks really for all, all the things that he's, he's uh, doing in, in my life and has done in my life um, yeah I received um, the Holy Spirit on a beach in Cornwall and um, uh, you know I, I found out you know that the Holy Spirit was in the Bible 
um, and uh, um, uh, yeah, the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit was speaking in tongues, and um, and yeah, so I, I decided. Uh, well, two people prayed for me on a beach in um, prayed for me on a beach in Cornwall, and um, it was in the night time. I don't think there was anyone around, and uh, and then. Um, Afterwards, I was walking back to my flat at the time, and um, I thought to myself, "Well, I should should be out of praying tongues. It's in the Bible. It was a logical conclusion to me that if it's in the Bible, and I've been prayed for the Holy Spirit and the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues, I should be able to do it." So I tried, and I did. It was a quite experience, really, and I was quite laid back about the whole thing, really, because I just thought that wasn't there before. And then, and then I, I did know that I needed to continue on praying in this language, so that's what I did. I just kept praying in it, and then, but they never really taught it um, much uh, to continue, like like we do here. We 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 we, we uh, um, teach to keep praying in the spirit and to edify ourselves and build ourselves up in the Holy Spirit, and um, that does us good, and everyone else as well. Um, and uh yeah and then um i got baptized um and then um cut a long story short uh went through uh um, gosh went through a lot really <laughs> a lot more than i can say in five minutes um yeah um yeah i don't really know how to put it all into words you'd have to ask me afterwards there's so much to say, I always have a little bit of a difficulty when I get up here to give my testimony because it's all it's all in one go, and I don't know how to condense it. But um, yeah, I had a, I had a the testimony to the Lord really, or to give God the glory, uh, is he is he took me through. Um, um, let's just say it straight, really. I suppose mental difficulties. Um, things to do with you know str I struggled very much um when I was um on my own as it was as a as a as a um lonely person really uh in 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 some respects um and uh uh yeah so yeah even even though uh, you know I I, I had the Holy Spirit. I, I really sort of desired to have a wife. I, I suppose my testimony is the fact that I've got a family. That's my testimony, really. Is I've got a family and a daughter and daughters, and uh, just a, such a beautiful family, really. Um, so I could leave it there, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it there. Amen. Stuff. Thanks, Glenn. Uh, Six one eight. We desire to be rice. Lawrence is saying no offbeat clap. So just clap normally. Look at Sandra's face. You'll have to speak to Lawrence afterwards, Sandra. I'll let you guys settle that between yourselves. <laughs> so just the normal clap. Okay, after four... One, two, three, four. We desire to be wise. Verse us in your understanding. Give us your wisdom and the knowledge of your will. Let us walk worthy and be pleasing in your sight. Fruitful in every good work, increasing by your again we decide to be wise first us in your understanding give us your wisdom and the knowledge of your will let us walk worthy and be pleasing in your sight fruitful in every good work increasing by your in the light our fullness is in you Lord standing steadfast and immovable be reconciled unto you being reconciled unto you we've been reconciled unto you 
402. Give ear to my words. <clears throat> oh, okay. Do you know it? Or do you want to do a different one? Um, okay, we'll do 234. Okay, then after four, one, two, three, four, sing hallelujah to the Lord, sing hallelujah to the Lord, sing hallelujah, sing We'll uh, go to 253. Faith turns the night. <clears throat> okay, after four. One, two, three, four. Faith turns the night into the day. Love drives the dust and fears away. And my heart is. again. Finish up on two six one. <clears throat> I have decided. Okay, after three, one, two, three. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided.
Thanks, band, and I'll hand over to Angelo. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to a full S. Great. It's great to have everyone back. Okay, we're going to turn to Psalms 23. And we're going to stay with this all tonight. Just this psalm. I'm going to pick out an individual verse. So keep your markers on that. It's a well known psalm, the 23rd psalm. Beautiful. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Ye, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wonderful words. The Lord is my shepherd. We start off with that. He keeps us safe. A shepherd will make sure his flocks are all together. He feeds them, and if one should go astray, out of the hundred, it says in Matthew chapter 18, verse 12, it says, Does he not leave the ninety and nine, and go up unto the mountains, and seek of that which is gone astray? God loves us all equally. We're, we're priceless to him, but together we are much stronger. Together we can grow. And... Uh, I was watching The Gladiator again the other day. It's probably about the 10th time. I love that film. And there's a scene in it where the gladiators uh, at the, uh, the new Colosseum, big Colosseum, quite intimidating. And they're in the middle. They're chained up two by two. And they're waiting for something to come through those gates. And the, uh, the commander, Marcus Aurelius, he says... Uh, Whatever comes through them gates, we'll have a far better chance if we stick together. And that's exactly what we do. We stick together, no matter what comes out. Those gates, we know that we have the Lord on our side. When David slew Goliath, he knew that he was going in the battle with the Lord by his side. The Lord encouraged us to stick together, to be equally yoked so we can edify one another, lift each other's spirits we can strengthen one another by sharing scriptures talking about things of the Lord our own experiences and sharing our testimonies as we heard from our brother Leonard on Sunday sharing God's wisdom with one another when, when I did the knowledge we'll go out on that bike individually we went out in the middle of uh, Wimbledon out in the freezing cold we'll come back to the knowledge school and each one of us, whatever we learned, whatever we found out, we'd write on a giant board at the knowledge school, a big blackboard, and we'd write down that we've seen a certain road, or there's no right turn there, or there's a left turn there, or you can't, you can't enter into this hotel, there's only one way you can get into this hotel. All that knowledge that we share amongst one another, it gives us strength and we grow from it. Second one, I shall not want. The Lord always provides. We will never go hungry. He feeds us spiritually and naturally. In Exodus chapter 16, verse 18, it says, He that gathereth much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. The Lord nourishes our souls. Sometimes we can switch off when we have many things to do, bills that come in, and other things to pay for. And sometimes we can wonder where these provisions are going to come from. The Lord knows what we need and when. Our ways are always right in our own eyes, but it's the Lord who searches the heart. 
He weighs the heart and he searches the soul. It be his will and it be his appointed time. So don't worry, don't be anxious about things. The Lord's got it covered. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Our natural ways can make us uptight, tense and restless. The battle belongs to me, says the Lord. Just lie down and be still. In 1 Peter it says, chapter 5, verse 7, Cast all your cares upon him, for he, he, careth, he careth for you. He gives us peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Let's go to this one, actually, uh, Philippians chapter 4. So keep your markers on Psalms. Let's have a look and see what it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. So in chapter 4, verse 6 of Philippians, it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Wonderful words. We shall enter his rest with thanksgiving in our hearts. His mercies and grace, they endure forever, and his faithfulness never faints. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He pulls us out of choppy waters. And we enter into a calm stream when all around us is mayhem. We can still be sitting in a calm place. I often use a phrase in my testimony that sometimes we all seem like we're entering out an ocean with a spoon, but in the Lord we can. But the Lord's going to pull the plug out anyway. He restoreth my soul. When you restore something, it can run into a lot of money, whether it be a car, an antique, a painting. But the Lord's gifts are freely given. His gifts and his calling are irrevocable. The Lord buries the old and brings in the new. He takes away all the rust. And he promises that we'll never rust again. So I've brought some new, a new verses to, to our chorus. Never first again. We'll change that to never rust again. So, uh, yeah, we're fully restored. And in the Lord, we're priceless. He leadeth me in the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. I remember back in 2012, the Lord led me into our old hall for the first time and it was the Lord's impeccable timing that brought me in and from that day onwards all I wanted to do was surround myself with these uh, wonderful righteous people in the hope that it rubbed off on me because for the first time I saw through life I saw through its uh, corruption I saw through the perverseness of, of it and I just wanted to be away from it The Lord, the Lord used someone and he put him in, in, in my path and that's what he does he uses people, puts them in our paths they plant the seed he used Paul, formerly known as Saul the less likeliest person you could ever imagine the people were saying, who's this guy? ain't he the one who used to hate, despise and persecute all the Christians? God led him in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake so the power of the Lord can be seen and glorified I shall, I shall fear no evil the Lord's got it covered anyone fighting against us will find himself fighting against the Lord in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 17 it says be not a terror unto me thou art my hope in the day of evil the Lord bows down those who rise up against us our adversaries, our oppressors. In Romans chapter 2, verse 9, it says, Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil. And in Romans chapter 5, verse 10, it says, For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, but much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. 
for thou art with me. When we find the Lord in our hearts, we find him everywhere. Everything we do, we do it with the full breastplate of righteousness. The Lord sees, he hears our prayers, the voice of our supplications. He's never far away from us. The Lord thy God is with us wherever we go. In Joshua chapter 2, Rahab knew the Lord. Thy God was with Joshua and the two spies. Our confidence in the Lord will show others that God is with us all the way. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. The Lord gives us the power, and we always have the power of choice, the power to choose to do the right thing. He gave the rod and staff to Moses and said, use it. You've got it, use it. Keep the faith. Know what we have is special and share it with others. God wants us to do that. Comfort others with the same comfort that is shown to us. He prepare us a table before me in thy presence of mine enemies. People around us can see that our lives have been blessed, that we have peace about us, a confidence. And with that confidence and assurance, we find ourselves whispering in others' ears, telling them that with the Lord everything is going to be all right. Thou anointest my head with oil. If you pour oil over your head, it will lubricate the scalp. It will stop it from drying up keep your car lubricated it will run smoothly in Psalms 104 verse 5 it says bread which strengthens a man's heart and oil to make his face shine when we're in the household of the Lord we have that glow and that shine on our faces we are the anointed ones surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life God is our rock in which we dwell in an unmovable God when all around us busies itself the Lord gives us rest he protects us from the world and its worldly demands that are designed and fashioned by man to distract us and take over our focus away but God promises God's promises are assured and last of all I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever it's that eternal rest ruling and railing, seated in heavenly places. There be no more corruption, a secure place. Only peace and joy in our hearts. And in Second Peter chapter 5, verse 10, but the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, and strengthen, and settle you. And I'll leave it there. Angelo, should we stand? We're going to operate the gifts of the Spirit as we do, and you know, as, as I mentioned before, there's people there um, uh, watching and listening in, so uh, bear that in mind. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus.
to, to learn to thank the Lord and, and in many in many ways there for you to grow and to thank the Lord. But indeed I say to you that you have to keep moving forward with me, thank the Lord. And to move forward me uh, with me, say uh, thank the Lord means that you have to deny yourself at times, thank the Lord, so you can spend that time uh, with me. And indeed I say if you want to uh, to finish this race, yeah, if you want to enjoy this journey, indeed I say to you that you have to spend that time with me and move forward. Uh, the Lord and uh, 
somebody and you consider the conversation and you think about the things that are said and you take them to heart. And I say to you, there are some clear times with me and you do them as you walk past, you do them as the day goes by, but you also need to come aside with me. You also need to have time where you just sit and listen and you consider and take to heart the things that I tell you. So I say to you, make time in your day where there's just you and me, where you can sit with me and consider and delight in the things that I'll tell you. But you will need to take a step aside, away from the noise and away from the things this world has, so you will hear me. We need to get to know what people said. If you're going to use the prayer line, if you come forward or backwards, uh, we'll we pray here for any good thing you want to pray for.
Amen. Okay. Uh, just Saturday, seven o'clock. We've got. We've got. Um, uh, we can't have the musical outreach because we we uh, uh, our little place is booked out. So we're going to have uh, short talks, uh, two or three, from brothers that don't normally uh, uh, get up here. So um, that'll be from seven o'clock onwards. Uh, the following Saturday, we've got down as a concert night, uh, which is which is. Um, uh, I was thinking of the. Th the songs we sung as items, we sang Dexie's Midnight Runners songs, haven't we? Yes, we have. We have. Slade. And Labby Sifley. They're the only ones I could think of sitting there. Um, but somebody said once they did an item, it was a nice item. And he said, the reason that God gives people inspirations is to write nice songs so we can steal them and change the words. <laughs> uh, but, but there is a lot you can do in songs, you know what I mean? There's a lot. Uh, I was... I was um, some people know Chaz and Dave. Chaz died. That's off. And uh, I, I was I was reading his, I was reading his obituary, and uh, and he was saying uh, somebody said I you give the wives a hard time. You're always singing about their wives. Ain't no pleasing you, and you don't have to go on and rabbit and all that. And uh, he said he said we're too embarrassed to write romantic songs. And uh, and he, they were both well. He, uh, one of them still alive, but they were they were married to the end to one. And um, and. Uh, uh, but but I, I get the point he made that sometimes in 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 human relations it, it can be awkward to say what you think, uh, but with the Lord it's just it's not so. You can find the right words and the right phraseology, and there's uh, there's lots of songs out there. Uh, there's quite a few in here as well. But but like um, uh, bringing out of your treasure things old and things new, and uh, if you've got songs that sustain you, share them, uh, collaborate as well. You know with people there. Uh, um, won't do anything unless you swing them in with you especially if it's a really good song uh, you know those songs I, don't know, I know Dexy's Midnight Runners was a joke song uh, but some of those songs you can remember years later and you think yeah you know so uh, concert night uh, and the, the other thing um, Autumn Walk uh, apparently Noel Park is nice I've been getting pecked at <laughs> Chaz and Dave old songs coming out now <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, Noel Park is apparently nice, which is which is Seven Oaks Way. So we'll have that, yeah. Uh, kids camp is the twentieth of, of October. I take it that those who need to send stuff off to Jamie have done it because I I uh, I just send you the forms and then that's that. Uh, but yeah, all right. Can't think of nothing else that needs uh, announcing. Glenn, got favourite? Yeah, sing the power of Yahweh. Come, Singapore one. Can't remember anybody's name. You know that anybody's name. Toby. Do <laughs> 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 you close in prayer for us? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
what it was like sitting down, but it was hard up here. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong key, but there you go. Good song. Time for tea.